Hey guys, in today's video, we'll be modeling a roll of cache inside Blender. It's a fairly simple process and won't take long. With that said, let's get right to it. The first thing we need to do is to get a clean image of the money we are going to use. In my case, I am going with a $100 bill. You'll need both the front and the back side of the money that you're going to use and preferably in PNG format. And make sure it's cropped to the shape. Once that's done, we'll import either the back or the front side as an image on plane. Now usually, you would extrude and use the newly created UV space to add the back side. The problem with that is you'll get unwanted thickness which will throw off the whole look. So instead, we'll set up textures on both sides of the plane in the shader editor. To do this, first duplicate the image texture and load in the other side of the money. Then add a mix shader. Plug in the front and the back side. The order doesn't really matter. At this point, you'll notice the two textures are blending together. To fix this, we need to tell Blender to split them up between the two sides of the plane. For that, we'll use the geometry node and plug the back facing output into the factor. And there we have it. Both textures are applied to their respective sides. There's a small issue though. Using the back facing output gives you flip textures, which we can't work with. To fix this, add a mapping node and a texture coordinate node to the flip texture only. Then set the X scale to minus 1. At first, the whole texture will disappear. This happens because when you import images as plain, the texture extrapolation is set to clip by default. Switching that to repeat will solve the problem. With that fixed, let's move on to rolling it up. Before we do that, we'll need to add more geometry. Then go ahead and add a logarithmic spiral curve and adjust the settings until you have a nice spiral shape. Align the bill with the curve like so. Then add a curve modifier, set the spiral as your curve object, and switch the deform axis to X. You may need to adjust the curve's scale, but once you're happy with it, move the bill along the X axis to get that rolled up look. Let's add some more bills. Add an empty, then an array modifier to the money. Switch to object offset and set the empty as the offset object. Apply all the transformations on the money by pressing Alt A, apply all transforms. After that, increase the array count. From the top view, slowly rotate the empty and scale it down along the X and Y axes. It might look a little funky at first, but just play around with the location, rotation and scale until you are happy with the result. To make it a little bit more convincing, I played around with the location of random bills. All we have to do now is add a rubber band and then we can wrap this thing up. We will create one using a knot curve. In the operator panel, reduce the revolutions to 2 and the spins to 1. Also, reduce the bevel resolution to 0. After that's done, adjust the band around the row. Convert it to a mesh and add a subdue modifier. I 
After adding support loops along the edges, you'll get that nice rounded square look. If you liked the tutorial, hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video.